Technology is a wonderful thing, making our lives more convenient and opening up a world of entertainment. But at what cost? Wireless and digital devices fill our homes with unseen dangers, like electromagnetic waves and radiation that some experts say can cause insomnia, depression, migraines and cancer. So how great is that danger and who is it most likely to affect? Laura Sparks finds out. Our homes are not as safe as they used to be because there's more and more technology in them. You wouldn't want to have the baby sleeping too close to this. Nausea, uh, dizziness, headaches and numbness. Lynn McLean is on a mission. She's hitting the streets, showing families their modern day appliances and technology they've grown to rely on are doing them more harm than good. And because it's wireless that's going to be giving out signals. As you can see, we're getting quite high peaks. She's testing invisible radiation. Her message is clear and disturbing to the Potter family. With a newborn baby and two other children, Juliet and Dan have electronic devices galore. You can see that this is really the maximum that this meter can measure. Now that's there all the time, so that while the baby's asleep in the cot, she's still being irradiated. It's a real concern for me. I'm, I'm quite blown away, away by it. Lynn is the director of EMR Australia. She spent 15 years warning of the dangers of electromagnetic radiation and magnetic fields. Her new book, The Force, Living Safely in a World of Electromagnetic Pollution. The fact is that everything electrical, your wiring, your appliances, anything wireless, your cordless phones, your baby monitors, are emitting electromagnetic radiation. What's the problem with these wireless devices? It's sending a signal by radio frequency radiation, which means that it's exposing anybody in the vicinity. Some of the worst devices are found here in the bedroom. There's the digital cordless phone, the digital clock radio, and many of us even sleep with our mobile phones. Now, because we spend up to eight hours a night in this room, these devices could well be affecting our health. Conditions like childhood leukaemia, brain tumours, cancers, Alzheimer's. In addition to that, it's been linked with a lot of uncomfortable symptoms such as depression, uh, loss of libido, irritability, sleep problems. Then this is the bedroom. Juliet uses her laptop in bed every night, leaving it on the floor when she sleeps, right next to one week old Gia, who's initially sleeping in a baby basket next to her mum. What you can see is that there are still quite high peaks mm. of signal while the baby's sleeping, so that even when you're not using the laptop, there's still a signal that will be affecting after she sleeps. Then there's the iPhone by Juliet. Juliet's bed, a constant every night. This is giving out a fairly high signal, which is above the level that a lot of people have problems with. It's going crazy. I'm not even making a phone call. There was a greater shock in baby Gia's room. This sound and heart monitor and this camera both work on digitally enhanced cordless technology. Now this one here is giving us some quite high readings. This one here is top of the scale. So given the baby monitor and the camera especially, you purchase these things actually thinking that you're going to be protecting your child and to think that I actually might be harming her. The microwave gives off high readings even when it's not actually cooking. Lynn suggests turning microwaves off at the wall if not in use. But David McDonald got rid of his altogether. Oh, hi, Al. How are you doing? David only ever speaks on a landline telephone. In fact, after realising electromagnetic radiation was making him sick, he rid his home of all wireless devices and mobile phones. Within a couple of days, I noticed that I wasn't feeling numb in my left, left side of my body, especially my face. Um, my dizziness disappeared, the nausea and headaches diminished as well. After Lynn's testing, Juliet is making a few changes around the house. Really think about things like when I'm cooking with the um, microwave, for example, to move the baby out of the way and even myself. I'm not scaremongering, Laura. What I'm doing is showing that radiation comes from these devices and I think people need to understand that that's the case in order to protect themselves. 